Hello, this is Steve here, and I'm going to give you an overview of uh, Sculptures Alpha 6. And uh, uh, let's get started. Um, if you're, um, you'll probably, uh, if you don't have a mouse, you'll probably use these tools right here. Um, if you don't have them when you first install Sculptures, go to Options and check Tablet Navigation. All right, and press OK. Uh, to use these tools, you have to uh, click what you're trying to do. If you're trying to rotate, click it and uh, click the left mouse button and and uh, move. And that's how you rotate. And if you want to pan the the object, you uh, click the left mouse button and move. And same for zoom. Um, uh, if you want to edit or sculpt back on your object, you'll have to go back to edit mode. Um, to undo, you just click undo if you mess up on something. If you're using a mouse, you'll have to, uh, to rotate, you click the middle mouse button uh, to rotate. And if you want to pan, you hit shift and middle mouse button. And if you want to scroll, um, let me see. If you want to, uh, to zoom in, zoom in and out, you um, use the middle mouse button and scroll. And if you want to undo, you hit Control Z. All right. So that's that for navigation. All right. So let's get started. All right. So um, so with these tools, you have crease, uh, rotate, scale, draw, flatten, grab, inflate, pinch, and smooth. Uh, you might not have, um, or might not have to actually go over these because they're pretty much self-explanatory. You probably get it right away. So if you actually need me to go over these, just uh, let me know. All right, so I'll go over uh, things you might have more trouble. Uh, on so start with invert. Invert basically does the opposite of whatever tool you use, except for wireframe or symmetry. So basically, you have uh, a normal. Let me start with a. We'll start with a new object. So to start a new object, go to new sphere and new scene. Uh, so. Uh, showing you invert. Uh, to use invert, uh, first start, I'm going to show you what it does. Uh, use the normal, if I use the normal uh, uh, crease tool, uh, if I hit invert, it will do the opposite of whatever stroke you do, basically. So, if so I have inflate, a normal inflate, if I check invert, it will do the opposite. Alright, let's go to airbrush and lazy. With airbrush, if I have only airbrush selected, it will give you a free form sculpt. You have complete control over where the brush goes. If you have airbrush and lazy selected, uh, you will have more of a drag stroke. Uh, it's better. It's really uh, useful for if you're trying to create uh, close to perfect um, curves or straight lines uh, for hard surface or things like that. All right. If you have none of them selected, it doesn't. Uh, it only creates like dots and stuff. So that's airbrush and lazy. So let's get to uh, strength. This is strength right here. Basically the pressure of the stroke you use. So if you have uh, inflate at max, if you decrease inflate uh, strength, it will decrease the strength of the inflate. Oh, let me see. Uh, lower. You, you will basically decrease the strength of the inflate. Or if I use uh, increase, if it's at max, if I decrease the strength, it will decrease the strength 
for the stroke of the of the, the crease. All right, let's head to size. Basically, uh, it's the size of the brush. If you decrease the size, the brush increases, and if you decrease the size, the size of the brush decreases. And let's go to detail. Before we go to detail, let's go to wireframe. So I can show you the triangles. Basically, your mesh, uh, your objects and sculptures are composed of uh, lots of triangles. The more triangles, the more detail. So basically, this is the number of triangles you have on your object. Uh, let's see. Basically, what detail does is it gives you more triangles to give you more detail in your object. So let's go to the grab tool. If I pull an object out, pull something out of the mesh or an area out of the mesh, you can see you have uh, jagged edges and triangle edges everywhere. So that means uh, there's uh, less detail in your brush stroke. But if you increase the detail, uh, when you pull an object or do anything or use a stroke, uh, it will add more polygons or triangles to your uh, to your stroke to give you more detail and more solidarity of your stroke. So that's what detail does. It makes things more solid, more clean, more uh, more finer in your in your on your object. So that's what detail.